Okay, this is my military surplus kind of H45 multi fuel heater. This guy got this kind of in like a uh, uh, heat shield contraption right here, it made out of a 55 gallon drum. My feed line kind of goes around the back. I'm using that stick to keep the line away from the heat shield. I'm not sure how much it'll displace. It's about 9 degrees outside right now. This is my first burn. Uh, right now in the bucket I have about three cups of diesel and I will run it this way till it goes out. I'm thinking I'm going to start it up on its high setting. It's that set to diesel. Right now I don't know if you can see the little tick mark. But here I have it on its uh, on its highest setting that it'll go. And the way this works is uh, it's a gravity feed from here down the line. And it comes in to the bottom. This kind of float regulator thing they got going here. This is kind of a way, like a little spigot to fill up this cup here to... Uh, um, do the pre-burn and uh, the way this works is this float regulator maintains a level inside this tube. This tube is connected here and goes down and underneath. So and there as you can see there's perforated holes in the bowl here all the way around uh, to let air in as you can see, kind of down around inside of there, it's a little dark, but inside this tube, like I said, it maintains a level. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this in here and kind of show you. Oh, I can't tell anyway. Oh, here you go. You kind of, kind of see. Well, basically, it maintains a level equal with the bottom here. In that tube so it's about right about there or so sitting inside this tube and what happens is is I'll pour this cup in here and then I'll since it's so cold I'm gonna put lighter fluid on the end of this and light it on fire and stick it in there to get it warmed up and then once it get once it gets warmed up and it burns off it'll this will boil the fluid inside this pipe which will create a vapor and then go up and around and then down at the bottom it kind of pans out on this little shield thing that they got and there's about two layers to it and it fans out those fumes and uh, should create a pretty clean burn but we'll uh, see how that goes okay something I forgot to mention in the last clip is that that level that it maintains inside of here in that tube as uh, when it overflows it will go through this line as a safety precaution to make sure it doesn't overflow right now I have it going into that little old, uh, pink bucket over there but uh, and then this flow control this uh, this dial here this is actually like a flow control um, so at, once it gets going right now I just have it where it's at the set level just to kind of get it started and going once it uh, gets going and it's creating vapors, I can set this, which controls the flow rate into that tube. So it kind of keeps like a certain level in there. I would imagine with it being on its highest setting, it would keep it up that level as high as it can to boil as much fuel as it can to create more vapor. Whereas if it's in the low setting, I'm sure that level drops quite a bit inside of here in that tube. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my cup and just kind of pour it in there. Kind of see it's just like a little pool, not really a whole lot to it. And I put some lighter fluid on this piece of paper to kind of help me out here with this whole getting it started thing. So. 
like I said, it's it's nine degrees outside right now, and this diesel is it's old diesel I've had sitting around. And this stick is supposed to be used to get this going and not leave the paper in there so that way you know, it doesn't create, uh, it doesn't leave substances in your thing, but I'm kind of thinking that it might have been better just to throw it in there and clean it out later when it's all done, but that diesel down there is not lighting up at all. There's a lot of black smoke coming out. I'm just kind of having it sit on top of that diesel that I pulled up in there. Let's see if it actually starts. Kind of falls it off. I don't need smoke coming at my face. But this thing comes with six sections total of the stack pipe. Right now I only have three just to kind of get it up and out of my way. I don't need, you know, eight, ten feet of um, pipe. But I'm just going to kind of close this, let it sit, and uh, see what she does. Right now, you know, you can see the black smoke kind of coming out. But, uh, yeah, we'll see how she does. The plan is, is to run this on these three cups of diesel to see, and I'll run it on full bore. This thing will put out uh, like 42,000 BTUs. Um, and we'll see how long that lasts on three cups of diesel. Okay, it's been about four minutes since I stuck the stick in there. Got it sitting right over there. But uh, it seemed to work out pretty good. Uh, lighting the, the paper towel on the end of the stick and then kind of sitting in there with the lid closed so that way the smoke didn't come out at me. I mean, in case I ever, when I put this in my garage, I don't want that smoke coming in my garage. So it's kind of a good thing to know. Um, Seems to have a pretty good draft, you know, kind of pulls everything towards the stack and then out. This is after about four minutes uh, since I did that. And uh, I pulled the stick out, uh, like I showed you. And uh, you, you you would hear the, the, the diesel boiling kind of on the bottom. And then eventually when that boiling stopped, um, you can kind of open it. And here you can, you can kind of see how the, the flames kind of liquor on the side. But it's uh, it's it's on fumes now, and like I said, after four minutes, I mean that's, I mean it's already changed the color. I mean it's a substantial amount of heat, and uh, there's there's no fumes, no black smoke, no nothing. I mean all you, all I can see, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's just heat, you know, you, uh, radiating heat coming out the top. I mean there's there's no smoke, and this this is on really old, really old diesel. Boy, even after four minutes, you know, you hit over the the level already dropped out of this line. It it, it just in the time I was talking, uh, it's already dropped. So in about a minute, it already went through what was about a foot worth of line. So when this thing's running on high, it seems to me like this thing will kind of go through it pretty quick, and I'm not losing nothing in my overflow. So I know it's going in my burner. But, so when this thing's on high, I mean, we're, we're talking 42,000 BTUs. Uh, so we'll see. I'll run this thing out. I got the line set up. So that way it should, you know, completely clean out that line. And I'll open up that spigot to be certain. But I want it to completely get all the, all the fluid out in exactly three cups. What it would take to run this thing how long it'll last and I'll run it until you know there's there's obviously no flames um, but yeah I mean like I said this a ridiculous amount of heat I'll uh, grab a thermometer and see what exactly but as you can see I mean it's 
just like I mean, how much has changed in the time that we've been talking? Uh, the whole top's almost changed colors. Uh, once you get it, it is covered in like an oil uh, preservative or a steel preservative oil type stuff that uh, keeps it from rusting. And what I used is an industrial degreaser, kind of like a uh, royal. It's not royal purple, but uh, a purple degreaser. Uh, industrial degreaser from Sam's Club and uh, it worked really good I had like a, a bucket of it and kind of went to town on that and wiped it off and as you can see there's really there's no nothing burning off of it really I'm actually quite surprised how well it turned out that way but uh, I'll keep timing it and check out some temperatures on it and see how she runs Okay, the diesel test is all done. Three cups of diesel last, uh, lasted about 20 minutes on high. And what I'm gonna do this time, this will be kerosene. Just your Home Depot brand kerosene. What I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna, uh, you know, if I if, do like a, if I were to actually like fire this up first thing like in the garage, be like a start to finish. So what I'm gonna do is that right now there's three cups of kerosene inside that bucket. Open the valve. It's kind of kind of dirty in there, but you know, multiple different fuel testings. So here I just opened it. A couple of bubbles coming out. There you can see it filling up. And then this I already had opened on here. I have it still set to diesel. I don't know if you can hear it, but you can hear it kind of filling up. So I'm gonna leave it on high, just let it sit. Okay, and here we go, I'm gonna pour, oh, spilled a little bit. I'm just gonna pour. Pour that in just right on top, nothing fancy. Alright, and then I already pre soaked my wad of paper with lighter fluid. It's kind of difficult with my uh, piece of paper here. And then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick it in there. This will kind of demonstrate what it would be like if I were to set this up in my garage. So I just set it in there, close the lid, and we're going to do kind of like a start to finish kind of deal. Well, finish being when it fully starts up. Right now I got the, the fuel on. Um, and uh, I saw all the bubbles come out. Uh, like I said, I heard it. fill up the little tube the kerosene seems to go definitely flow a lot better I'm not sure if it'll burn faster I mean it shouldn't we'll see though but uh let's see and, uh, so if I were to set this up in the garage keep smoke out of my garage you know I'd use the stick just stick it in there and as I said last time you'll actually hear it start to to boil in the bottom of this thing and with it being so cold, it's it's been probably a good 10-15 minutes since the diesel burned off. So this drum's already, um, it's it's actually cooled down. You know, it's 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 super cold again. So uh, be like starting fresh for each one of these tests. Definitely, what I learned last time is doing the diesel thing is keeping that lid closed certainly helps keep the smoke out of your your garage or out of your face when you're trying to light this thing and I don't know if you can tell you know you can see some you can see the smoke you know as it starts to to heat up as you can see now that you can, you can actually see that flame won't be too much longer I'm, I'm certain you'll start We'll start to hear the, uh, the kerosene boil in the bottom. 
but being with where this the stack is it seems to create a good draft in it even with this opening um, it doesn't let smoke out enough it might here let's see if we can hear this Well, what I noticed when I did the diesel is about the time I heard the boiling stop is when you know I, I pulled the, the stick out of there and it's hot I mean it with where that tip is on there I mean I could grab it with gloves and get it out so it wasn't terrible uh, but you know some uh, channel locks or something might be best to, to actually pull that out But once that boiling stops, we'll, uh, it'll be it'll be running on fumes, and we'll take a look. Um, one of my questions when I was looking at this is, what this was for? Okay, I, I noticed in some videos I saw people trying to use this as a way to light it or something like that, but that's actually not what that's for. What that's for is the solid fuel grate system, the original one. Um, this one I bought from uh, Sportsman's Guide. And it's, it's okay. I mean, it's not everything that you see in the videos. I mean, like, there's no, there's no window on the top. Um, it does come with the wood grate, but it's not the military standard wood grate. The military standard wood grate has uh, a handle that actually comes out, and it comes out of this hole. Uh, so that way you can shift the ashes and kind of get it down. Um... Uh, the one from Sportsman's Guide is, is just, it's just a great, uh, you know, you you pull out this bowl and then you put in the other one and uh, we'll go take a look at it. That way you guys can see what you're getting if you buy the Sportsman's Guide version. See, it's, that's it right there. You know, nothing fancy. So, I mean, I guess if you wanted to get the ashes out or something, you just have to kind of poke at it from underneath one of those openings another thing to keep in mind is that when you're doing the uh, you know the, the liquid fuel burning uh, there's another door in the back here and both doors need to be open on the bottom to allow the air for these holes that sounds like the boiling is already stopped, so see, I don't have any smoke coming out. You know, if I have this in my garage or in my my cabin or something, you know, I don't need to worry about fumes or smoke coming out once that boiling stops. So here, I'm just gonna got my gloves on. I'm just gonna pull it right out. Now, I'm outside in the snow, and as you can see, this thing is still on fire. So, if in my shop, in my garage, is I'll probably have just a bucket of water. And I'll just dip it right into the bucket of water and, you know, whatever. So here, you know, here, with the top open here, there's a lot of air coming in down here. You can really see that roaring in there. So I'll cover that back up. And So, from start to finish, getting this thing going, what was that, about maybe five minutes or so? Uh, but it, it's already ripping and roaring right now. I mean, you can kind of see the flames in there. It's, I mean, it's quiet. It burns nice. I mean, right here, in the top there, you know, all, all there is is heat waves. Oh, it looks like a little bit of smoke. That's probably just that it just started up, but... Yeah, I mean, that's... Heat waves more than anything. I'm sure once this thing gets going for another minute or two, it'll be nothing but heat waves like the uh, diesel was. So, but yeah, super clean burn. Um, matter of minutes, and uh, time this and see uh, see how long this one lasts.